We're going to Amsterdam. Posh Bice and David Beckham. I got to see Jerry Halliwell. These are called paper nota. We just missed our boat. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes before anyone <laughs> kills me. Good morning, Rio. What is for breakfast? Looks delicious. I'm Good just morning. teaching everyone on my Instagram what to pack in your baby bag oh, for a holiday. And what have you packed? Oh gosh, it's just like passports, cowpox. You never know if you're going to need that, right? Mm. Energy fizz sticks for us. Mm -hmm. Chargers. Um, in here, I have snacks for the plane. Um, Wipes, nappies, um, cravers. But in terms of stopping Rio from being annoyed, I, I've start. just got a funny taste in my mouth because I just did my hair, then picked up Rio's thing, then got jam on my fingers, and then put it in my mouth. <laughs> and it's jam, like I got jam hair, jammy hair product in my mouth. <laughs> um, so good morning, my absolute darlings. We are up early today. Got dressed straight away because we are off. We're going to Amsterdam. So, so excited. We've got 20 minutes. The good thing about Francis is because he's half Dutch, we're going to Amsterdam. Dutch people love to be efficient. And so we'll be like, right, we're off. Which is great, which is great for me and for Rio. Because we can just enjoy, enjoy the moment. Have you seen Elfie yet? No. <gasps> oh my God. I just saw Ralphie. Well, as soon as you finish breakfast, we need to go and see him. Let me just go and pack Rio's clothes. This is, this is where Ralphie is. His friends are looking at him. Mr. Sloth was trying to catch him, but he has been so naughty. He's trying to run off with Rio's passport. Hilarious. Ralphie is so naughty. If we forget that passport, there is going to be trouble. <laughs> okay, right. Down lighting, like I'm all for having no things on the ceiling, but it just does not give you very good lighting at all. Look, who wants to look like that? Uh, here's his hat, definitely take those. So I've definitely overpacked for you, but I feel like you have to with a child. So I've got four vests, sometimes they get wet. I've got a little, track suit and overalls this old green overall which you wear on the plane if it's cold in Amsterdam let's get one we should find like a snowsuit because you can just wear that yeah that's a great idea this is Rio yeah show YouTube your out airport outfit it's like a tongue twister he's wearing a little green all-in-one and he's we're gonna put some shoes on him um, but that probably a little hat as well for the car this this hat I love this hat with the bubbles Everyone always asks me where this is from, and I never can remember. And then we'll put me in the car like that, and then when we get out of the car, we'll add more layers because in the car seat, I'm sure you all know, in the car seat they can't wear their full thing. No, why do you love eating wet wipes? Is that a normal thing for babies? Just quickly, all of these winter stuff and then we've got loads of like top layers as well that we're going to put on him and as francis said we'll probably find him a find him a snowsuit yeah. so he can wear that as well so i'm gonna go and pack this and i'll speak to you in two seconds here is a outfit for today Rio, you must keep your hat on because it's cold out you must keep this on very cold out good boy Rio. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh, I just remembered. Where's Elfie? <gasps> Quick, let's go for it. Where is Ralphie? Oh, I can see him. I can see him. Oh my goodness. He has been so naughty. He's got your passport. <gasps> yeah, tell dad. Dad! 
Ralphie's got my passport. He's got, he's tried to steal Rio's passport. <laughs> If I would have got in the car and not taken this passport and we got to the airport, honestly, I would have had a, the biggest meltdown. Biggest heart attack. That is so naughty. Ralphie. He better not come to Amsterdam with us, otherwise he will get us in trouble. There's nothing better than waking up early and, to go on a holiday. Right, Rio. Are we ready? Let's get focused. Are we ready to leave the house? We are ready to leave the house. I've got the keys. I've got the bag, passports, money. I just love going away so much. I know. Sorry I haven't spoken to you yet this morning. Basically, I like to do all like the organizing, get all the bags ready. So I get in my airport mode. I'm slightly anxious. I'm like, oh my God, are we going to be late? But we're going to be fine because we've only got hand luggage. So we don't need to be there hours and hours before. Just hope that there is no... Jeez. Yeah, I'm nearly 25. Oh yeah, it's crash hour. Eek. Let's go. How you feel about going to Amsterdam? Excited. So excited. So we're going to arrive at the airport exactly an hour and a half before the flight, which I think is fine. <laughs> we'll see. Who knows? Flying these days, since COVID, I feel like it's made everyone extra nervous. It was like you need to be there like seven hours before, but not had that experience yet so although last time we went to Luton I remember it took ages to check in the pram oh my god we have to check the pram we'd have to check in the pram perfect it's a what were you trying to check in last time? a car seat ah uh, that's fine also when we're on the flight we have to actually make a plan where we're going what we're doing well, we got no plan we have arrived we have arrived are we really strong enough to fulfill what the future demands? You to finish it? Just gotta grab the ticket. There we go, Halden. It is so cold! <laughs> we have arrived at the airport and we're all so excited. This is gonna be such a fun 24 hour adventure in Amsterdam! <laughs> Camera. Phone, car keys, Rio. We've got everything. Oh, it's cold, it's getting colder. We're on a trip. <laughs> wow, it is cold out there. I had to run because I was just like freezing. Everything okay, Rio? You excited? You cold? <laughs> Love you. I honestly think it's worth getting to the airport at least three hours early just to do the... It just is never enough time. I just also just love going around all of the duty free. It's just so fun. All I want to do is buy sunglasses. And I'm not letting them. <laughs> Every single time I come to the airport I always like to buy a pair of sunglasses. Just just cause. So Francis has gone to... So Francis has gone to Pret to get some snacks for us. I just wanted to tell you some story time with Stuart Armfield. So, you listen to this from Rio. When I was young, I used to, uh, I did my work experience at Heathrow Airport and it gave me a taste for what the rich and famous lifestyle would be like. Um, it sounds hilarious, but I'd never really been on a plane before. Uh, my, my, my family didn't ever, I went traveling actually, but like to Devon and to that, that kind of thing. I never really went abroad um, unless I went on a coach. So going on a plane for me was like a big deal. And I went to my work experience and mum got me that work experience at Heathrow Airport, which was so amazing. And I got to see Posh Spice and David Beckham. I got to see Jerry Halliwell all kind of off these planes. I was like, oh my God, I was so starstruck. I love the Spice Girls. I was so starstruck. And from that moment, I was always like, whenever I come through an airport, it always makes me feel like 
like stupid. You're doing well. I'm not sure that's even that good a story. <laughs> I just put the camera on Rio. It's like, is that a good story? I don't know, but I just love, especially when I'm wearing sunglasses. I love wearing sunglasses through an airport, feeling like you're a friggin' rock star. <laughs> In my head, obviously. You excited, Rio? How many plane trips have you been on? This is your first one since being a one-year-old. You are such a good boy. I am sweating up right now. I am so hot. I've got so many layers on. There's not much you can do about it. Okay, over and out. Bye. Stay so on board. Have you got our snacks? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Can I look at the magazine? <laughs> And we have arrived in Amsterdam. That was the quickest flight, I think. I know, ever. I've ever done. It, 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 it was, was perfect, it's perfect because he's at Zay where you have to really keep him entertained. And it didn't have to do much of that because it was literally like, and we're going to land now, it's perfect. And we arrived half an hour early. We have arrived. Love the station. I just love architecture, it's so nice. We've just arrived at our hotel and it actually is so lovely. So lovely and the staff here are super friendly. We had like a full tour and everything. So are you ready to see it? It's like a little attic, isn't it? Like a princess or prince's attic. So, oh, it's a bit rainy. I love the sound of rain, don't you? So cozy. But this hotel is just amazing. They gave us these little um, cookies. These are called paper nota. It's a Dutch biscuit that you have for St. Nicholas, which is what happened yesterday, that was the 5th of December, um, which is really, that's their kind of version of Christmas, which is slightly different to the rest of Europe. But yeah, we have these biscuits. This is the bed. Very nice. And as soon as Francis came in, guess what he did? <laughs> Every time we go away. <laughs> I just, I've been traveling, I need a poo. I have to go for a poo. <laughs> Straight away. Straight away, I thought so, about... like you come in, it's like, oh, smells lovely, next second. Sorry guys. So cute. This is the hotel we're staying at and they gave him a little bib, which he oh. definitely needs because he's... We've got a bed ready for him. Just a desk. This is an absolutely beautiful hotel. Let me just take you into the bathroom. It doesn't smell you good. Oh, lovely. Walk-in shower. Oh, hey guys. Oh! Hello! It's like a ship. Storage. Oh, dressing gown, love that. He is loving these. <laughs> so yeah, we've arrived in Amsterdam, so we haven't set a plan yet, because that's the way we roll, but we love that. So what we're gonna do is probably go get some lunch. Yeah. We've had a recommendation of somewhere close by, and then go explore the city a little bit. Somehow get on a boat. Yeah, we're definitely going to see the light show tonight, because I think Rio would absolutely love that. There's, yeah. a, there's an hour boat show, so we go and see that. Yeah. Just before dinner. Yeah, I like well, I mean, get started at four or whatever, so I'll have some lunch and then go see Amsterdam. Honestly, I love the architecture in Amsterdam. It's just so cute. Little fact for you, Amsterdam wasn't bombed at all in the Second World War, so all of the original architecture um, is here, and it's like from the 1700s and 1800s. It's so cool. Two. <laughs> Anyway, we'll go have some lunch. Yeah, we'll catch up with you in a bit. Oh. Right, Rio is hungry, so we are gonna go and get some food right now. Have you got the room key? It's in the door. In the door. Fabulous. Ready? Let's go. So we tried to book into where the hotel advised us to go, but it didn't really feel very kid friendly. So we're going to the place that we always go, it's so basic, but we're going to Soho House <laughs> um, because we've been here before and we absolutely love 
so the house so much so we're on our way there now it's literally a seven minute walk from our hotel so it works out perfectly and then have some lunch because Rio is definitely very hungry and then do a bit of exploring in the rain so we've just had dinner at Soho House and Which the reason is very a standard, <laughs> a I know. standard choice. But the reason we went there is because we know exactly we're gonna get the right thing okay. and I know it's not very Dutch, but we just really wanted to have a quick meal because we're now gonna go onto the boat, we just put the boat to go around and see all the Christmas lights. So that should be really, really fun. Interestingly, did you know that Dutch aren't kind of well known for their food? A bit oh. like the British. There's some really cool Dutch foods. I mean obviously I had grown up like but they're not like, if you said Dutch food, it's not like a... I'd think of those, those chips. Oh, those amazing chips. And Haldenslach, chocolate sprinkles. Haldenslach. But like, they're not known, it's not like known for like, like French food or Italian food. Yeah. The same way really, British food is not really. But we tried to get into the restaurant and they just really didn't seem very kid friendly. So we know that... It's all about kid friendly. We know that we're welcome. Yes. This is Rio. He, he ate so much food. We just missed that boat. Damn it! That's okay, hopefully we can change it to another time. Which one? Just leave it there. It is. Oh, there's our boat. Bye! Hopefully we can jump on another boat. We can just say, I'm so sorry, I had a problem with the baby and um, it delayed us. Please let us swap. The good thing is, I've definitely got my steps in today, which is absolutely fantastic. This is the beautiful station, by the way. Lovely. So it's actually not that cold, it's kind of wet. I know, I'm actually. Really I'm boiling, cold. but it's because we've just like legged it really far. Lovers, how perfectly. I know. Love it's perfect us. for us. Anyway, so we're going on a light, hopefully, a light cruise. How much was the ticket? 60 quid. Oh. God, I really hope that let's go on another one. That's another one. That would be really, really mean. <laughs> okay, no worries, we'll go with the competitor. We'll see. We'll give it a go. Being on the fourth. Are you waking up a sleeping baby? I'm literally. Oh, it's so hot. Well done. That's not easy. Smashed it. Can I have a little seat? Just look at him. Oh He's God. exhausted. He has so much food, that's why. He's absolutely exhausted. Right, we're just boarding the boat. It's going to be fun. How long is this trip? It's uh, over an hour. Woo! Can you believe it? On a phone. It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young. And that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang. What do we think, boys? That was fantastic. I was expecting a light display, though. It wasn't really a light display. It was just like seeing the light of the houses. No, there was loads of light displays that were but very artistic. Was, yeah, it was. I was expecting more like Kew Gardens, you know, when you go and see a light it display. It wanted there. like a, a, a full, on full on Disney display. Flourish of lights. But it was beautiful. And Rio's face was just the yeah. cutest thing ever. He's like, <gasps> It just was a through. little bit too long for Rio. But I'd say 15 minutes too long. Yeah. Right, we're going to head back to the hotel now and maybe grab some supper for Rio. Call it night. When he was younger, we used to take him out in the pram and he'd sleep in the pram, but... Probably we'd do that again, but... It just feels a bit more unfair at this age. I don't know why. Oh my gosh, look at these bikes. Right, we'll see you back at the hotel. What have we got here, Francis Haugen? I'm just cutting up some really delicious pasta. Is it nice? Yeah, it looks like... If you just know, like, by the texture, by the way it's been cooked, that it's like... Not your cheap pasta. Not cheap pasta. So we've come back to the room. We had an amazing tour all around Amsterdam. And, oh, look at Rio. I can't cope with the cuteness. And now we've come back to the room. Rio's gonna have some pasta. We're not actually quite hungry yet. Um, so we'll get Rio to sleep. And then go downstairs and leave him up here. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes before anyone <laughs> kills me. Um, no, that'd be terrible. That was a joke. Um, and yeah, this is the, this is probably be our night now.
we first started dating, Stuart used to do this person. <laughs> this impression. Dude. Oh, God, speak to you because I got the power as well. I can't talk to you loud because I got the power as well. I think that might just be a personal joke. But anyway, we've had a lovely first day in Amsterdam. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. More Amsterdam content.